Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're playing EverQuest Project 1999 on Orgul, and we are in West Karenum at the Misty Story Swapper Camp. There are two mobs here that you can kill, Misty Story Swapper, sw swapper, <laughs> swapper, who is level 15, and a guard who is level 14. She drops a mandolin, sometimes she drops two of them, and sometimes she drops reagents. But she is pretty good experience, and it is a really good AFK camp. At level 12, it is better because of the fact that it's easier than, say, the sister's camp. Uh, because our pet and our mana pool isn't really acclimated to the amount of cost for our new spells. So, I would stay here if I were you, but I... Um, me and I uh, ended up moving around a lot but I stayed here a while and I was able to do this camp for probably a good solid two hours or so and then ended up trying to go to other places um one thing I would definitely suggest is uh, make sure you know the area pretty well uh, it's really close to Kinos uh, hills specifically and also you have two merchants available to you one at night which is right behind where misty spawns and then one where the um barbarians are next to the water be careful though because there is i think it's mcgregor is i'm, I'm probably saying that wrong but it's a uh there's barbarians there that will attack you they're what you would probably camp at level 36 or so. But the the guard here only drops rusted, so I wouldn't really worry about looting those unless you just want that extra cash. So after this, I ended up going ahead and heading to um, Lesser Fadark to try the sisters around level 14 or so. And while I can do the first two, it was a little bit harder than I was expecting. Because of the fact that, again, mana versus the amount of mobs there are. There's four mobs versus two. And two of them will come at the same time if they're not broken. So I went ahead and... Um, I went ahead and just stayed here for as long as my pockets were full. One thing I would definitely suggest is if you want to stay here longer, especially when you get a little bit higher... Make sure to only loot rapiers that are six weight and the um, the spears that are six weight. There's another set of spears that are eight weight, but the spears that are six weight will allow you to um, stay here longer, number one. And number two are four plat instead of one plat. And the six, pl uh, the six weight spear is two plat, I believe. So after this, I went ahead and headed to Lower Guck. Had a lot of fun. It was um, probably the best group that I had all day just because of the fact that I was able to go and relax finally. Didn't have to worry about so much. And was able to go ahead and um, get words for research. Killed um, all the way until I got level 16. Yes, got my new pet and stayed there a little bit longer. But anyway, that's pretty much my whole day that I I spent doing that. The next group is going to be level 16 to 20. Then we start getting into the spells that I really like. Um, other things, I've been talking to people who've... Um, who've been watching, who watched the first video at least, and they recommended that I talk about the XRs and options for them because there is an option to go ahead and head to, um, to Uriadin, well, not Uriadin, but Paynail and kill there for faction, uh, in the Warrens because that's the, that's the fastest faction that you can get is, uh, Paynail over others. So I would definitely do that. And like I said, Warrens is a really good place to kill. 
and a really good place to group it there's a lot of people that actually go there because it's a new zone and they want some of the new items that drop there there are several different names that you can check out and um i would definitely suggest to do that if you have any questions please let me know leave it in the comments below if you liked it like it and if you want to see more please go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day a great week and a great weekend. This is Cypher Dyke. Peace out. <music>